Oh, hell yeah. What's up guys, it's Alex with a quick wheels on update. Apple just rejected my latest update binary file. It's because I had a hand in one of the screenshots. And the second reason is because I actually had a phone and an iPad inside of the screenshot and Apple does not allow you to use their products as part of your app. So I'll be working in Photoshop and show you how I quickly adjust those two screenshots, resubmit to the App Store, and uh, resubmit the update. So the last step that I do usually is I will take the pings that I just made, um, which are right here. I will drag them into tiny ping and have it compress it down because Photoshop doesn't really optimize your PNG files. This is almost one megabyte. After tiny ping, the same file is about 200 kilobytes. So it went down about a fourth of the size. Same actual picture. And there's barely any compression that you can notice. There's, and my app screenshots show that there's no iPad or hands in it. So I think they're gonna accept this. What I need to do is I made all the changes. I need to go back to where there was a made it that I rejected, which is right here. Click on the rejected. I'm just going to make sure that my screenshots are indeed uploaded. And I can tell right here, there it is. I can look at all additional sizes. And I can see that I've updated the non iPad, non Apple trademark identity screenshot. And what is this update about? Well, I'm finally offering a monthly subscription for people to see all the user submitted wheels inside the app. If it's not one thing with the Apple App Store, it's another. But if you guys like these kinds of videos and you wanna see app updates and what developers go through, hit that subscribe button guys and there's more coming. Thanks for watching. Ricky.